inside this dusty old cobweb box with a bunch of, I shouldn't have put my arm on there, is, <laughs> you'll see the label there, it says Star Wars Betting and JATC Books. And what that means is these are the books I had from my apprenticeship when I was learning to become an electrician, as well as a bunch of Star Wars betting I had as a little J. So I haven't opened this box yet. I have forgotten what is inside this, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to go over, pull the bedding out, of course. Maybe look at that, it's kind of cool, nostalgic, but also get into the books that we used to refer to in the apprenticeship. So without further delay, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got. That is nasty. We'll put it back there. All right, so let's get the uh, Star Wars bedding out of here first. This is kind of cool. This was from, uh, I think, gosh, this must be from the, the 70s. If you're, I know, you didn't come here for that, but look at that, that's cool. It's in this plastic bag. I should probably take better care of it. I wonder how much that costs on eBay. Anyway, like I said, you're not here for that. Let's put this over here. And let's start grabbing some books out of here. I just wanna interrupt the video real quick and say, if you like these sweet shirts and this kick-ass hat, make sure you stop by in the description and look at the links I put in there. One for Shopify, it'll take you to our farm store. One is to the link tree with recommendations for tools and EDC gear. And I also have some Amazon affiliates in that list as well. And if you purchase through them, I get a little bit of a cut and you don't pay anything extra. It helps support the channel and I really appreciate there. it. What's, what is this? Proper use and care of hand tools from Klein. It has things, let's start here. Kind of your basic forward and, and a picture of all the tools that they are trying to sell you. And of course there's the table of contents. <laughs> Illustration of how to use a wrench the wrong way. Let's kind of skip forward here a little bit. Some scaling and chipping hammers. Shows you how to hit the wrong way. Nail pullers, specialty screwdrivers. This is kind of cool. Vices. I don't know what happened there. Apparently my kid got into this book and decided he would do his own edits. And the back here is kind of cool. It has these pictures of bender heads and bender bars and uh, some hand tools, looks like they're insulated tools. Some nut drivers or spin tights, some rabbit guns. A little uh, hole saw set. All their strippers and tape measures. Tool belts, I used to have this tool belt, one of these two right here. I kind of miss having that. I don't know where it is, but it was an old Klein leather one. And then the electrician's knives. And I do have, actually it's not a Klein, but I do have one like this one right here. And of course fish tapes. That's kind of cool. Oh, 1993 is the date on that. It's funny how something like this seems so new, but also so old at the same time. Electrician's Guide to Conduit Bending, and your basic functions, your trigonometry there that we had to learn in school, different ways, your take up, your back of bend, all that kind of stuff, different offset calculations, saddles, how to do three bend saddles, four bend saddles, that's kind of cool using uh, like an old uh, Greenlee rail bender. We used to call it a rail bender. I'm not sure what it's called these days, but you see it there. Oh, and using the hot box to uh, kind of melt your PVC conduit down to form it into offsets and in 90s and whatnot and how to do that on the ground. That's pretty cool. And looks like in the back here are some calculations that I saw. Oh, it's just different. How to do different start marks and things like that. 
And this guy is from, but it's from IBEW Local 73. Oh, copyright 8276 from Spokane, Washington. That's pretty cool. Oh, and this was from the first year. They wanted to kind of talk about the history of the IBEW. And there you go, history of IBW. And all the different things and how they... The begin, beginning of the Brotherhood, that kind of thing. They really wanted to give you this history early on in your first year to kind of get you hooked from 1993. Okay, so that must have been the year I started in the apprenticeship. Oh, and Nika, the counterpart to the IBEW, this would be the National Electrical Contractors Association, probably talks about how wonderful they are as far as the contractors, how it's organized, more kind of just kind of getting you, I was going to say indoctrinated. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use a better word than that. Uh, just It's just more for knowledge. It's more for knowledge and information. Introduction to programmable logic controllers. Now, this is something I actually do at work, but I'm, I don't know any of this stuff very well. And here I have the book on it. It just goes to show I never read this book, and it wasn't really pushed in the apprenticeship either. I'm sure if I took this to work with me and actually read it, it might help. But then again, we have computers these days. All this stuff here is all before we had access to YouTube. Now here's a book that I did use, Electrician's Exam Preparation Guide. And here's kind of a, your chapter list of things that would show you. It looks like it has a question. And, oh yeah, of course it's an exam prepar preparation guide, so it's gonna have questions and answers. It must have helped. I should actually take this again and see if I can pass it 30 years later. Measuring and testing. Interesting. Just a bunch of questions and answers. And then this would be a floor plan of residence showing the duplex receptacle layout. Interesting there too. <laughs> That's funny. Remember the old uh, fill in the bubble kind of tests? If you're old enough, you'll remember those. That's kind of a cool, you can tell that this book's kind of worn. I kind of use this a lot in prep for my test. NJTC Test Instruments for Today's Electrician. 91, 93, and 96 by the NJATC. And this is probably just a bunch of information here. Testers. <laughs> Look at the testers they they show in this book. Clamp on. These are like ancient now. I don't remember these being used. This stuff looks like it's older than 1993. And sine waves and that kind of stuff. Stuff we didn't really get into. Oscilloscopes. Windings. Blueprint reading. This was kind of fun back in the day. Receptacles, submittals, cable tray, generator. Kind of a cool old book. And again, this is from 93 and 96. And this is a sample blueprint index to drawings. Must have been kind of a, uh, yeah, this is an early on way that we did some training on different things, whether it was industrial or commercial. This is how we learned how to read different drawings on the job sites. That is, that is pretty cool. This is from the fifth year of the apprenticeship. This book is probably pretty self-explanatory. These are the things you learn in the fifth year. Fifth year orientation, fire alarms, smoke detectors, uh, inst intro to instrumentation, review, high voltage testing, telephone wiring, 
control valves, controllers. You can see a bunch of questions and answers and things we would go over. We'd have a lesson we talk about in class and then sometimes we would do these as we went through class and sometimes we would do them as a group. We'd break up into groups and try to figure out based on the books and information that we had what the correct answer is. I can see my writing is as illegible as it used to be. It's so funny, I don't remember any learning any of this stuff. Kind of just shows you how much of this stuff is actually required. Learn binary code. How much of this stuff is things that you're forced to learn to pass a, a test and how much is actually necessary in order to become an electrician. A troubleshooting thing there, how to break it down. Well, that's actually pretty good to know for anybody, especially these days. It seems like troubleshooting seems to be kind of a skill that's not as required anymore. And then it looks like some ladder diagrams, start stop station, more ladder diagrams, tests, more ladder diagram, or that's more of a circuit right there with a 120 to 24 volt transformer. And then we had to do these things over and over again. They would give you, give you a circuit like that and you'd have to find the value of each resistor given the ohms and the voltage, your E, I, R, all that stuff. And 15 amp capacities for conductor shall be permitted to be determined by A or B. There's a little general formula down there by my thumb there. At one point I knew what that meant but now I don't know what that means. And it goes on and on and on. We used to do just calculation after calculation after calculation. Pages and pages. Fifth year was both fun and frustrating. So there you have it. That was my little trip down memory lane that I dragged you along with. I appreciate you hanging out with me and going through those books. I know it was kind of quick and it was kind of silly, but I just kind of wanted to give an idea of what things used to be like, as opposed to today where you have mostly computer-based training and computer tests and things like that. We did things the old fashioned way with paper and pencil. Yes, I'm an old timer. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.